Hey, it's Whitney from EcoVeganGal.com. I'm here at a bus stop in Santa Monica. I love this background behind me. Isn't that cute? Uh, I wanted to tell you about Core Bars. If you've never tried them before, I highly recommend them. I just got them as samples, and um, I love them so much. I decided I had to do a video on them. You may have seen these before. They're in the freezer section of a few natural markets. They're not massive yet. I don't know if they carry them in Whole Foods. Um, but I've seen them around and I'm always really attracted to them because of their great packaging. And I feel like they're just really clean and fun looking, but they don't say too much. They don't, I don't know, they just, they're nice. Um, and of course it says down at the bottom, organic and raw, and that's always appealing as well. Their um, reason for making these is to have a bar or a meal that you can have on the go. So it's something that you can throw in your bag, you can eat wherever you are. It's convenient, but incredibly filling. And it's really true. On their website, I think, they have, let me see if I, no, I don't have it here. But um, I did see this picture somewhere of, it's the equivalent to um, a bowl of, oh, oh wait, here it is. <laughs> see, I'm not entirely prepared for this. So they show one bar plus a glass of water equals four hours of stable energy, and it's equivalent to one full bowl of oatmeal. And if you've ever really been into oatmeal, you know it's really filling. But the best part of these is that they're incredibly clean. They're so clean that, oh, here's another photo. <laughs> um, they're so clean that it might be something that you could make yourself, but honestly, if you're in a rush, you probably just wanna grab something. You might not even have some time to prepare it. They're just made of organic oats. In this case, this is the raw cashew cacao. So it also has cashews, cacao, raisins, flax seeds, and ground spices. So really delicious. I don't know if the oats really qualify as raw, but they're, I don't believe they're cooked at all. I think they're all just mixed together, which is cool. Um, this bar will last one week outside of the refrigerator. If it's in the refrigerator, it'll last two months, and if it's in the freezer, it'll last six months. You can stock up on these and grab these anytime. Uh, you can just, they take about 10 minutes or so to thaw out, so you can leave them on the counter or throw them in your bag or something. The last thing that I really like about this company is they're not for profit. It's really neat. They write on the back of their packaging that they reinvest in food quality, community, and the planet. And that was something that really inspired me to make this video because I feel like they're really just making these bars to make a difference in people's lives, not to make money. Um, and they have a lot of cool things that they offer. If you sign up for their newsletter at corefoods.com, uh, you can get $5 off an order. So if you want to try them out, that's a good way to save some money. They have fitness tips on Facebook and Twitter, fitness tips if you email them. And uh, they just have a really cool attitude and spirit to them. They do have other flavors. I'm going to just cut to a quick photo of the walnut flavor. Walnut is my second favorite. I love this cashew one because it's, uh, it's just chocolatey. But the walnut uh, is, tastes like a banana uh, cake or something like that. It's got bananas and walnuts in it. Really delicious. Then they have one with almonds. I happen to be really sensitive to almonds, so I haven't had that one. I might just have a little taste of it, but I'm sure it's delicious. That is the third thing that I love about this company is that they are um, they have all different types of nuts. So if you're sensitive to a certain type of nut like I am, you can try one of the others. Hopefully you're not sensitive to all nuts. In that case, you can't really enjoy these. But um, cashew and walnut are just phenomenal, and I feel like a lot of raw products out there use exclusively one nut, which makes means for people like myself who are sensitive to almonds, which is a very common nut to use, then you can't have it. So anyways, I would love to hear your thoughts about this when you give it a try. Leave, leave a comment below and let me know what you think, or if you've made something like this before, or any other similar product, maybe what's your favorite bar, what's your favorite meal on the go. And um, I guess that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. As always, stay tuned for another What a Vegan Eats video sometime in the future. And you can check out my other videos on the main Eco Vegan Gal channel, as well as Eco Vegan Gal Uncensored, and all the other ones. All the links are on the side. Thanks so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.